Hey YouTube, Selfies42 here. I was planning on making this video after I got internet at the house, got my computer set up so I could make it a little bit more, you know, flashy, neat, professional looking or whatever. Um, but, uh, with Jordan having just put out this video recently on how to uh, approach fundamentalist Christians, I was going to uh, be making a video or series of videos, however it needs to be, uh, basically talking about the same kind of thing, um, and I just wanted to uh, expand on some of these ideas that, that Jordan had put forward, uh, and then some of my own thoughts as to uh, how to go about doing this sort of thing. So I was going to call this, you know, Cell's Guide to Theist Deconversion or Christian Deconversion or, you know, something along those lines. And I may end up redoing this video, you know, once I do have computers or internet hooked up at the house and shit like that. But, uh, anyway. Um... The first step that I would say, and perhaps one of the most important, is know yourself. Uh, and what I mean by know yourself is know what what values to you are the most important. Uh, the Elmo is evil was talking about how you know different value sets are put at the forefront. Uh, partially, I guess, as a as a biological or neurological tendency. Um, but anyway, I would say that knowing what values are important to you, uh, which which one or two values of of you know the uh, of, of of the the great virtues of mankind. Uh, you would say are, are most important to you. Also, you need to know your strengths and weaknesses because they will use any weakness that they can find to attack you. So you just need to be aware of what they are and, and, and basically have the, uh, the thick skin on ready to deal with that. Uh, but perhaps... The most important thing is knowing your motivations. Why are you intent on uh, approaching a fundamentalist Christian or a theist of any other variety uh, with an attempt to uh, deconvert or open their mind or whatever your intentions are? Um, The reason this is the most important is because if you're just looking to get a notch on your belt and say, well, I've deconverted this person, or I helped this person deconvert, or I helped, you know, you're, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot right off the bat. Um, if you honestly consider that this person that you are approaching is unhappy within the world view that they hold and that you're just looking to improve their outlook on life or if, if your if your motivation is genuine concern for the individual that you're talking to that needs to be something that you that you are looking at. If, if you're looking at it in terms of getting a notch on your belt, uh, their inherent suspicion of you will close them off from anything that you have to say if your motivations aren't genuine. Now, step number two is know your mark, the person that you're talking to. You want to know what their theology is, you know, which which brand of the 30,000 plus different versions of Christianity are they following to, or which of the, you know, two major sects of Islam are they a part of, or whatever. Um, 
you also want to get an idea of what values they hold as their top two or top three. Uh, what are the things that are most important to them? Uh, and the reason I say that is because not only do you have an area in which to explore their way of thinking, but if you align yourself or, or open up a conversation with somebody who has similar value sets to you, uh, then you are in a position of, of, of having a conversation that is based off of uh, mutual agreement to some extent as to what are the important things in life. Um, I would say that the next important thing is to know your Marx theology. Um, what I mean is not just know what it is, but know the ins and outs of it. You want to know their theology better than they do. You want to know their holy book better than they do. Uh, if, uh, basically, you don't want any surprises, and you want to be the one who's able to throw all the curveballs at them. Fuck, I had other ones, too. Well, I guess I'll just cut it off there and until I remember what it is, and I'll maybe write these fuckers down so I remember it next time. And, uh, anyway, thank you. Breathe and stay hydrated.